And now the weekly update, but before we get into the numbers, I do wanna talk about a question I was asked recently by one of my past clients, and that was, are there gonna be a lot of foreclosures between now and the rest of the end of the year based on all these grim real estate numbers? Well, the short answer is no, there's not gonna be. Apart from the usual uh, scenarios that happen where people's life changes and they just have to sell, they can't afford their home anymore, that kind of foreclosure will still be out there. But there's a few conditions or four conditions that I want to highlight that exist today that didn't exist back around 2008 in that period. The first being homeowners have a lot of equity in their homes these days. So if they do get into a position where they can't afford the home, they will be able to sell and still make a profit and then not have to go into like a short sale situation or foreclosure. The second condition that exists today is the process of getting a home loan is much more strict, a lot more fact checking, and a lot of uh, things you have to qualify for in order to get the home loan that didn't necessarily exist back then. So it's much easier to get a home loan back in around that 2008 period than it is now. And you're not likely to get a home loan that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's above your means. These days, it's gonna be much more aligned with what you can afford. So the better lending process is, is going to lead to less foreclosures. The third one is the unemployment numbers are a little more healthy than they were back then. So less people are losing their jobs or out of a job period uh, for long periods of time. But again, if they do lose their job and do get in a situation that's bad, they still have that equity to fall back on. And the fourth condition that I want to address is the inventory itself is different than it was back then. There were a lot of homes for sale back then, so they just weren't able to sell based on the number of buyers. Now the inventory is extremely low, so they will sell priced properly and marketed properly and in the right condition. They will sell pretty fast, so you won't have to sit there lower, lower, lower your price. Market prices are staying steady, so you will be able to sell your home if you do put it on the market. It's not gonna sit there. You'll be able to pull that equity out pretty quickly. So. I hope that helps you. And now the numbers. In single family residences, there are 658 homes active on the market with an average days on market of 128. 52 of those are new in the last seven days. That's fantastic. 1,477 are under contract. 96 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days on market of 33 days. In the condo market, 208 condos are active on the market with an average days on market of 79. 20 of those are new in the last seven days. That's pretty steady. 134 are under contract. 20 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days on market of 42 days. What do these numbers tell us really quickly? Well, one big number we see is 96 have been sold in the last seven days. That's up from 78 the week before. So what that tells us is homes are selling. I think there's a lot of fear in the market that says that homes are not gonna sell if you put them on the market if you have to. Um, the biggest fear is lack of inventory because you put your house in the market, it's gonna sell. So that's a great number of homes selling. So no worries in the housing market around here. Homes are selling, and especially if you put them on there the right price, which is staying pretty steady. It's not going up too fast. It's definitely, it doesn't seem to be dropping either. Put them in the right price and uh, make sure they're clean and tidy and they're gonna go. All right, that's it for the weekly update. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you next week.